this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare for an off-road adventure. Tomorrow we're going to go back up to that lookout tower up at the top of that mountain. So I figured I'd make a quick little video here, show you how I make the preparations for an adventure like that. Um, we've had now three days of rain. The ground is pretty saturated and in Wyoming, which doesn't really receive a lot of rain in general. When the ground's saturated, it's really slick. Because the ground is saturated, the most important thing to getting to the top is a good tire. I run these all winter and they're pretty good in the mud. They got some decent side bite, some decent lugs. So they're kind of a hybrid between a all terrain and a mud terrain. But they do well in the mud when you get them spinning pretty good. So put the steel wheels back on a fan favorite. Everybody on my Instagram seems to love the steel wheels more than the aluminum, which to be quite honest, I do too. In addition to the wheels and tires, every time I go off-roading I load up a whole bunch of recovery gear and stuff, so let me show you what we got here. The most important thing when you're off-roading is to air down. After you air down, you have to air back up. So what I've done here, I have about $200 invested into this cheap toolbox. So I got this air compressor, new in the box, but secondhand. Um, somebody bought it, never used it. It's a Vier 450H. It has a 100% duty cycle, so it is designed to run constantly. Um, it does pretty good. It still does take a little while to fill up a 33 inch tire. It's a lot of volume there. But what I have done is I just mounted it to this toolbox and then I have a set of old jumper cables that I wired up so I just hook it up to the battery, flip the switch which is on this side, and then I got portable air compressor. Very important, especially in a nasty, on a nasty muddy trail. Some rubber boots. Good set of gloves. Winch cable you don't want to handle with bare hands. Uh, I have um, I have a feeling that we are going to be winching this trip. Tarp. Just in case. If we have to change a tire or whatever, lay down the tarp. Um, this way we're not covered in mud getting back into the truck. Um, I like to take a decent floor jack with me whenever I'm going on a trip, whether it be an off-road adventure or just a road trip. Now let's talk about straps next. These are just extension straps. They are meant for uh, like to extend your winch line. Um, if you're doing a hard pull of somebody, I wouldn't recommend these because these don't stretch. I have two of these. They're about 20 feet a piece. Um, this one over here, though, is a snatch strap. So this is uh, essentially a big rubber band. It's meant to be used with momentum. So you take off and extend the strap all the way out. The strap then stretches, and the stretching action rebounds and helps you pull, helps assist the pull of whatever you're trying to get out. Winch line damper. So put weight in this when you're doing a heavy pull and it's designed to, if the winch cable does snap, 
that'll bring it to the ground instead of snapping back and potentially causing harm or damage. Got a little military folding shovel. Used it a few times. It's just a nice thing to throw in there. Two inch receiver with a D-ring. Um, very important. Do not be attaching straps or using a ball hitch as a recovery point. Always use a D-ring. Never use a ball because they're de uh, balls designed to um, not have shock loaded. The D-ring, that's what it's designed for. A few extra D-rings. D-ring shackles, whatever you want to call them. All different sizes. Oh yeah, another little guy. Snatch block for the winch. You can essentially double your line pull with one of these or use it to redirect your pull. And in the bottom here, a few extra few extra odds and ends that are just handy in certain situations. A few R clips, a few hitch pins. Alright, that's essentially everything I carry that's extra on top of what I normally have inside my truck. And yeah, that's a little potty. I got a, I got little kids. If you have little kids, you understand. So like I was saying before, it's a tree saver strap, it's about eight feet long. Um, carry jumper cables everywhere. Again, carry a bottle jack everywhere I go. So, I have a full tool kit in here. Um, a few spare parts, breaker bar underneath here for wheels, inverter for charging in case I need to. Uh, I always carry a hatchet and I do not carry a hammer because this serves as a hammer also. Rubber gloves, rags, tire, uh, tire plugs over here. I always have I probably have like 10 lighters in this truck just stowed away. A little reflective vest, a pair of coveralls, bungee straps, zip ties, duct tape, hose clamps, electrical tape, butt connectors. Um, over here we got winch control cable, a very good first aid kit that is always with me and everybody should carry one. Um, I have a backpack with tourniquets also just in case. Here we got extra fuel filter, ratchet straps, diesel 911, extra belts. These here are roadside triangles. That's that's what I have in my toolbox. And that's basically it. I'm gonna be loading up a cooler. Getting lunch, water, having all that stuff with us. Besides that. I'm going to be carrying some two-way radios. That's basically all I'm bringing. I'm not doing any camping. It's a, basically a half a day in, half a day out type of trip if we take our time. But besides uh, all that extra gear that I do carry, I always uh, check all the fluids, belts, hoses before a trip like this. Make sure everything under the truck is tight, and greased, ready to go. Everything's operational. Um, went through the winch not too long ago, put a new cable on that. So I'm good there. The hubs repacked the bearings and everything, did brakes on this truck, so I'm good there. The truck's all detailed. Well, at least it looks that way. We're about to go get it all muddy. They're all loaded up. I armor all the, uh, the tires and inside the wheel well, so I wanted to give it a try to hopefully prevent some mud from sticking because this mud is pretty, uh, pretty sticky and hard to clean up. I figured this would help at least a little bit. 
winch is operational, we're probably going to be using it. Got all my recovery gear, coolers, enough supplies to last us the day. Air compressor, tarp, gloves, kid potty. I think we're all set. Yeah, tomorrow morning we start the journey. See you tomorrow.